catch basins were sort of the anchor for the start line or the reference point. Mm -hmm. All this curve is new. When you grow up in Hopkinton like Jack LaDuke and spend 36 years painting the iconic Boston Marathon start line, you've earned the right to walk like you own the road. Nobody's ever said you can't do that or we'd, we'd rather have you do that. He got his start with the BAA volunteering in 1981, making a sign to honor the late two-time marathon winner, Johnny Kelly, on Kelly's 50th Boston Marathon. Every year after that, the plum assignment to paint the start line across Main Street. You know, it was the best kept secret in town about what's this line gonna look like? A banner in Hopkinton colors, green and white, just two feet wide. And year after year, his children chipped in. And here's something almost nobody knows. At the 100th Boston Marathon, I made the, the line, I was painting then, I made the line 100 inches thick. From the, from the front of it to where the paint ended was 100 inches, because it was the 100th Marathon. Then in the 101st, I said, well, I gotta cover that paint. So I made it 101. And we did that all the way to 106. Then they repaid the road, and I thanked them. They, I said, we can't be painting all the way to Ashland. <laughs> LaDuke is now 73, living in Ashland, and had to draw the line, hang up the paint can back in 2017. But this year is the 100th anniversary of the Hopkinton start for the race, and he's back with a special sketch, a LaDuke design going into the start banner. We have a banner going across the word start that says, 100th anniversary of Hopkinton. Like that pencil sketch, he can be understated. I just reel on the tape for you. So. <laughs> With crazy recall, he's also hilarious and frankly, a jack of all trades. Jack LaDuke has been announcing the marathon and running the marathon since 1997, compelled into his first jog after sporting a BAA jacket away on vacation. And someone yelled out, hey, Boston Marathon, how'd you do? And I was so embarrassed, and I said, I can't say I don't run. He has finished 15 Boston races and even painted several finish lines. Driving to Boylston Street, harder for him than the run. I had all the stencils in the back and the paint. I stopped and asked the cop. I said, uh, I don't want to sound stupid. Can you tell me where the Boston Public Library is? He says, do you know where the Boston Marathon finish line is? I said, it's in the back of my truck. I want to know where to put it. His main job was director of facilities for a health care center, but he works as a handyman and he once did wedding DJing. You have to paint him with a broad brush. You know, I've, I've done a lot of volunteer work here in Hopkinton, aside from the marathon. Do you kind of miss them saying, hit the road, Jack? Oh, clever. Did you write that yourself? Of course. <laughs> no, I don't miss that at all. I don't miss it. I don't look back. I mean, it's fun to look back, but I don't dwell on it. He doesn't dwell on it, but he certainly puts the art in start, doesn't he? Does, he? he yeah, does. and, and and the pride in this community takes in in this race, this this neighborhood, this this little village just yeah. puts its arms completely around it. It's just unmistakable. And